Today, wind power is one of the fastest growing sources of energy on the planet. It's renewable as long as the sun keeps a shining and the wind keeps blowing. It's generally affordable for consumers after it's set up and it doesn't pollute the air. But it has its downsides. It takes a lot of money up front to pay for a wind farm. The best wind sites are often far away from the homes and businesses that need the energy and wind turbines can kill birds and other wildlife. They can also be noisy and unattractive to look at unless, of course, they're built far out at sea. That costs substantially more than building them on land, and it gives workers the opportunity to live a very unique, if remote, lifestyle. If you look at the surface area that this wind farm covers, it's 40 by 15 kilometers. Each turbine is about 100 meters tall, and the blades are 75 meters each. So the total area that the blades cover, that's bigger than a Millennium wheel. One rotation of this turbine can power an average home for around one day. Because we are so far offshore for this project, we figured that it would be best to have the whole crew working here, living together on one platform. So the whole site management, normally based onshore, is actually based offshore at the moment. So there's around, on average, 100 plus people on this offshore hotel. That's what it is. Yeah. The GMS Endeavour, that's an accommodation jack-up, and that's a vessel with legs, so it can actually jack itself out of the water. It lowers its legs onto the seabed and pushes further, and then the vessel comes out of the water, and then there's a stable platform. I mean, look around you. This is our, this is our open office, right? Open Office 2.0. That's uh, that's where we are now. All the people who work and live and sleep here, they are all on a two-week on, two-week off rotation. There is a cinema. There's high-speed internet. There is a gym. There's a great kitchen. There's a lounge room. There's a good office. Uh, for some people, I think it's better than being at home. <laughs> Part of them stay on board of this vessel, do the planning for the day, and the other guys, they sail out, they go to various uh, locations. Hornsey One is the biggest offshore wind farm that anyone has ever built. What we're actually building is 174 enormous wind turbines. We're spacing them out over 400 square kilometers of seabed. And between each turbine and the next turbine, there is a cable all buried into the seabed. And all these cables from all these turbines, they all go into each substation. From where the electricity then goes into the national grids, and from there it goes into people's homes. Well, the drawback of having turbines offshore is you need to get there. And when there's a lot of wind, that's why we built them here, there's a lot of waves. And when there's a lot of waves, you can't get with a vessel to a turbine. For any helicopter flight that you undertake over land, you can basically just step in, but when you fly further offshore, you need to uh, do a so-called UWIT, that's a helicopter underwater escape training, where you're trained what to do when a helicopter lands in water and maybe rotates you. It's about a week's training that you need to go through to be fully certified to work here. Flying out from shore to Hornsey, it's a gift every time. It's a, it's a present going to work. Thank you.